Monday, so I thought Christmas hats, why not? Here we got Santa Claus, get it? Because he's got claws. I'll stop. <laughs> we got the 2009 AFL Grand Final winning goal. Now, I've seen this goal multiple times, but I listened to the first few seconds and I saw the commentary on it and um, heard the commentary, I mean, and it sounded, the guy sounded hyped. So I want to see the commentary. And uh, yeah, uh, we also got What a Comeback from Daryl Joe's channel, Collingwood vs. Geelong. All the goals, AFL Round 12, 2000. That's when I heard up to. Just shouted, Aslitz! This, this was requested, actually, recently, actually. Because it's a minute long, I just put it in straight away. <laughs> Is he okay? Is this guy okay? I love it. But he's gone mad. He seems very happy. <laughs> Who is this commentator? I've never heard him before. I've never heard this guy. Done a lot of reactions now to Dow Joe's channel. Has, got the job on has some good uploads. Like he requested all these last month, I think. There's one more tomorrow. Not tomorrow, sorry. In the next April video, there'll be another Dow Joe video. Then I think there's one more after that. Which I'll upload in the weekend. We'll unload to the square. Wing in good position, and Mitch did everything but take the mark. Kilpatrick over the top. Well, he should have. I reckon should have marked it there. From 30, Coolahan, shoot goal. There you go. Whoever goes ahead, I wonder how many points he got up by. Because like, it is a comeback video. That would be interesting to see. That's me on evolution. Just give it straight to him. <laughs> That's literally me on evolution. In such a low scoring game, a mistake like that is just so costly. I either do that or try to run it out to and get tackled. Oh, it was a big kick from Williams. Don't worry about the conditions. Paul Williams runs it home. Decent shots. One on one, Tarrant and Scarlett. Scarlett wins out this time. That was the second quarter already. Into the middle of the ground. The it's quite a long video. He's done a right so. He has, yeah. I guess it's the first four was just Williams off the left boot went out very wide. He was decked after he kicked it. Doesn't matter anyway. Really low scoring. Guys, I'm not going to go back to that. I mean, once upon a time, that was a free kick down the ground. Paul Williams was absolutely smashed when he kicked the ball. It was Paul that's good. There's Stuyvesant and Buck and a bit of push. Watch this. Watch this. Area. Bang. Very hockey. Bang. That's about five seconds after he's kicked it. Is that legal? Is that he's he's not inside not the room? Is it legal? No, it's not. Very hockey. It isn't. Shot for goal. Important one for there the guys. And Tarrant drills it. Ties are doing well so far. Well, know, we're talking about Ben Grove again. Now he's playing at centre half forward. He just wants to get down to the ground and get into the action. Maybe getting back down to centre half back. Riccardi, oh, oh, Sanderson over the top of it. He's going to be penalised. Well, maybe fair enough. Maybe fair enough. Oh, fair right. enough then. Oh, honestly. I've just clocked their floor manager because I got upset with that. Oh, he's yeah. got the wet in the eye. Oh. He's sitting right behind me. I reckon that's the toughest decision that guy makes. Sanderson really didn't even look like he made an effort to get that out, though. A bit of controversy. They've got it as long as they're consistent with it all day. Big goal. So that is... Kick. Good goal. That is a sensational kick. Given the circumstances, that is a crucial kick. And Williams is second and now 4 5 to 1 4. It's in favour of Geelong. Oh. 30 in favour for Geelong, 17 to Collingwood, which is interesting. Riccardi grabbed off the ball by uh, Bathiris. Now Buckley. It was good defensive work, but. 
That was a nice ball. It's All right, fair enough. I did not expect that. I just, I didn't expect that to happen, but there you go. They'll score anyway. So that's good. Long haven't scored since the first quarter. Not a good thing, of course. Rocker kicks it into the clock. It was a great Got a mark kick. It. And Freeborn spotted up to take the mark. Rocker's kicked three behind, so the damage is good. It's a good kick. Greater than it has been. A minute thirty remaining in the second quarter. What an important Go. kick! And Glenn Freeborn has drilled it. Great kick. Forty-three twelve. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Oh dear. He thought it was going to push it back. He's not happy about it. He really did get a shot, but it wasn't anyway. Yeah, I get why he's not happy. So look, yeah, I, I, yeah, I get why he's not happy. He's pushing the back, but it's not really. Not bad, not much of that. So he was talking about big chance out for the prize. It may have been soft, but. Kicks it through. He may have thought different. Yeah, well, he said it's been terrific. And it was Chapman that came over the top of the Buckley got the handball away, no free kick. Bizzle better kick quickly. He does, the delivery though is poor. Alright, go on. Game is played. Played a slashing game off half back. The pies defence have been great. The Geelong forward line, non-existent. Book picker. Ricciardi, can he find someone? There we go. A hit and hope. It was a Mark, nice. And it's the ground. Buckley Smith down the ground. Geelong forward line, non-functional at the moment. Adam Hulahans kicked the only goal for the Cats. Their whole team's on bunker at the moment. <laughs> it's just been all Collingwood's in terms of goals. So it's taken two quarters to wipe out the lashes. The Geelong to kick their second goal from when they kick their first. Well, it's been a relay kick. Here we are, we see young Bradley Smith. Well, it's a start. <laughs> it's the start. What about Paul Williams getting belted earlier by Gary Hocking and no kick down the ground? Of a comeback. It's time for his I'm guessing. Quickly here. Like from here. Just got the handball. Gets him like steps up. Few more goals and suddenly he's close again. A little bit cleaner. Can they get a mark on the wing? Hulahan, really good for the up forward. Fraser did really well then to ride the butt. Handball oh, is terrific. Atkins, it opens up for him. Into the square. Tarrant versus Scarlett. You bet Tarrant. Scarlett in free. Almost. Free kick to Tarrant. A lot of fouls in this area. Makes no mistake. It's a goal. Buckley. And Harley, Brown. Go on. No one really can uh, get an effective uh, position. Milburn to Riccardi. Riccardi kicks the half forward. Gary Hockey left it behind. Able to get back onto his right. Then delivers the hand pass. This is great play. Away by Clark towards half forward. Pull the hand again. Oh, there you go. Goal. And he will kick Geelong's total goal. A bit of luck there so at the end, but probably the best goal of this game. The that seems so far. Geelong are not out of this game by any means. Robo, you're spot on. Geelong have four yeah, marks in their 450 only all day. So that's you, you're right. They never lift in their four line to be taking the grabs. And there's the free kick. Josh Fraser over the top of it. Stephen King goes to pass. And Link takes the mark. That's a good grab. Well, the mark is 27 mark. at the moment. We're inside the last Stay three. Saved down well. This third quarter. So what a kick for Cameron Wing. He's had some big ones in the last few months. It's hard. Oh, steady off the boot. It's a beauty. Good goal. Catch with 21 points. 
Yeah, the old story about just... just it's 21 points. Persistence. It may pay off for July. Suddenly you're back in, it's... One moment it's uh, it's a mountain. The next minute you have a chance. Good play. That was the best goal. That <laughs> that was the best goal. Six eight forty four to eight twelve. Easily. Pressure growing. The cats have. Right another leg. Inside 50. Ring again. These goals are good. And suddenly it's just 10 points. They're less than two goals away. Or two goals away from taking the lead. Wait a second. Wait a second. This, if, if Geelong win, which I'm assuming they do, this means Collingwood choked. So I, could, I could play the song. Keep going. Interesting. Well, they fought and fought and fought, and finally they get their rewards. Obviously, it's just three points. And not sure how long is left, but I think it's near the end. He's going to score, is he? Yes, he is. No, he's not. I like how you're showing, like, more than, like, just the goals. I like that. You're showing a lot more, which is good. Oh, my word. Oh, what? What happened? It's a goal, yeah. I thought he said free kick. I was like, what? What a goal! That was actually that was the best goal of the game. Been some brilliant goals. Where does this come from, Collingwood? Oh, go on. It's just going all over the place. Another one. We had all that time just calling with just dominating. Trying to seal the game. And then within seconds, it's on the other side, they got a mark. And Geelong could go back ahead. Go on, Gary. I love it when Collingwood choke. It's football's greatest joke. They've lost more grand finals than any other team. The this is a great ending, by the way. It's a great ending to the game. What a quarter. Mark. What a win. So far behind. Came back. Then lost the lead again, then uh, got the winning goal. That's brilliant. Collingwood could have easily, like, not easily, but Collingwood could have finished it off actually right at the end until Geelong got up the other end. But yeah, um, good game.
especially towards the end. This is your boy Davroff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.